What's going on guys? This is Empty Box, and this is Richard Burns Rally by request. I received a comment a couple of videos ago now about crashing constantly in Richard Burns Rally, and this used to actually be the sim that I was best at, at least in my opinion. That said, I've become tremendously rusty, forgotten a lot of things, and now I absolutely suck at Richard Burns Rally, but I'm slowly coming back to grips with it because it is a bucket load of fun. So hopefully I can give you guys some very obvious tips that are very difficult to actually realize because you don't realize what is actually happening even though you know what is actually happening. Richard Burns Rally is goofy like that. This sim is essentially completely backwards from every other sim out there. Well, at least from road racing perspective. You know, tarmac stuff. First of all, Rally School. It's there for a reason. Do it. Go get the MG, the little front-wheel drive piece of garbage that goes about 5 miles an hour. Do it. It's there for a reason. Second of all, within Rally School, do that stage over and over and over and over and over again until you can grind Richard Burns Rally's time into dust and just be like, Yeah, I own this. Because if you can do that, then you'll be well on your way to mastering what you need to do to drive the car fast. And the game expects you to drive fast and drive capably and competently. A Scandinavian flick, yeah, it's a bitch, but you kind of need to get used to it. I'm not really good with that myself. I'm not Scandinavian, sorry. Handbrake, you need to learn how to use it. It's really weird for most of us because we probably don't have a handbrake to use. So you're probably going to have to use a button on your steering wheel. Get used to it, though. It's that important. You need a handbrake. Throttle and brake? Yeah, every freaking corner. <laughs> Honestly, the brake is so useful in rally racing, it's not even funny. You know, the braking is almost as important as the throttle pedal. It really is. In fact, it is probably actually more because it's going to keep you from flying into the trees as opposed to the throttle, which is going to send you into the trees, more likely than not. It's really weird because when you think about it, in road racing, tarmac racing, pavement, whatever you want to call it, the gas and the brake are always kind of thought of as separate. But with these rally cars, the WRC cars, the technology that they have, the electronics, the differentials, it's a necessity. There's a quote from Colin McRae who says that basically understeer in a modern rally car is almost a sin. It shouldn't happen. Throttle and brake completely solves that. It really does. It's just the way the car is built, the way the car is made. When you're shifting, keep the RPMs really low. Almost think of the car as a diesel, because that's kind of how they handle. A WRC car is going to have about 300 horsepower. Torque? <laughs> Hell of a lot. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. You put these puppies in six gear, and you just let them go. You really do. There's not that much shifting going on. You're primarily going to be working fourth, fifth, and sixth gears. You don't need to use anything less. You really do not. The only time you will need that is for K corners, as well as square 90s air pens and that such a thing uh, but by and large most of the corners are going to be fourth fifth and sixth gears even though they don't seem like they are which brings me to my next point and the point that makes Richard Burns Rally exceptionally difficult and the thing that makes Richard Burns Rally exceptionally difficult is the thing that is supposed to make rally racing much easier to comprehend and make you go much faster and blah 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 blah, blah. that a-hole that sits to your right the co-driver this guy's gonna be talking to your ear the whole freaking time doing backseat driving and pretty much trying to get you launched into the forest as often as possible. He really does. The co-driver in Richard Burns Rally is the weak link of this sim. It is bad. It is legendarily bad. Pretty much everybody agrees that the co-driver in Richard Burns Rally is absolutely terrible and hell-bent on getting you lodged in a tree 40 foot up. He is. The guy is insane. I If this was recorded from... Phil Mills, I wonder how in the world did Richard ever win a championship? <laughs> like, how? <laughs> Not possible, you know? It is that bad. Unfortunately, there's no real easy way to work around this other than just get used to it. Okay? When he calls out a fast corner, most likely you're going to be thinking, oh, hey, that's more of like a medium speed corner. That's not that fast. Feels like I'm going pretty slow. When he calls out a medium corner, chances are, yeah, it's actually pretty slow. And that is because, well, most of us are more familiar with tarmac base racing and all that good stuff, where a slow speed corner is like 40 miles an hour. 
Here, slow speed corner is like 20 miles an hour. <laughs> you know, you are racing on dirt. You know, yes, you have four wheel drive and all this advanced technology, but you're still on dirt. You know, you have to process that. It's really easy to go too fast in this sim, which is completely different from any type of, you know, road racing, over racing, anything like that. Entirely different. And you have to get used to going slower than what you can actually go. If that makes any sense. This is a sim that you really have to approach from underneath the limit as opposed to over the top like pretty much everybody does and anything else. So that said, uh, here comes the as it was. Oh yeah, by the way, cockpit cam, Richard Burns Rally, absolutely terrible. Just don't even bother. It, it's that bad. Honestly. So, I bye. One, go! Fast right, long, 40. Fast left, 50. Flat left, long, 60. Easy right, long, 20. Jump at me, the fast left, medium right, long crest, 80. Easy left, long, 150. Fast right, fast left, 30. Easy left. 50, fast right, long, 60, flat right, 50, jump 80, flat right, 100, flat left, long, 150, turn 90 left, easy left, 100, Fast right, 30, medium left, 150. Fast right, 70, medium left, 2, braking, smack, 80. Fast left, fast right, 2, key right, 60. Easy left, long, and braking, left back, 80. Fast right, 50. Easy right, back. Long crest, flat left, long. Long crest, easy left, easy right, 100. Medium right, 80. Fast right, 150. Fast left, 30. Fast right, long. Medium left, 400. Fast left, 30. Fast right, 80. Key right. Breaking. Medium left, 60. Medium right, 80. Fast left, cut, 20. Fast left, 30. Easy right, fast right. And easy left, 30. Flat right, 60. Fast left, 80. Easy left, and slow K right. Slow flat right, long. Easy left, tighten. Breaking, turn 90 left, 50. Turn 90 right, 30. Easy left, 120. Slow flat right, fast left, don't cut. 80, fast right, 100. Medium left, 50. Medium left, 50. Medium right, tight maybe, 30. Easy left, long, 30. Easy left, 120. Fast right. Easy left, 30. Flat right, long. And medium right, long. Super crazy. Easy left, 50. Fast right, 150. Easy 
lanes have cut 200. Number three. And easy right, 80. Number three, 30. Flat left, 120. Easy left, long. Easy left, long crest, 50. Easy right, cut, 20. Easy left, long crest, easy left, long crest, 150. Easy right, long, 40. Slow flat right, fast left, 70. Flat right, long, 60. Fast right, and easy left, cut, 150. Flat right, 80. Long crest, and flat left, long, 120. Easy right, long, 100. K left, 80. Fast left, 70. Turn 90 left, easy left, fast right, 4, 